What's going on everybody? It's Michael Alder here from thelandflippingformula.com. And in this video, I thought we would look at some of the most expensive land in the Los Angeles area and how you could take an approach to an investing in this. Now, if you know me, you already know I'm about doing high volume, really cheap properties. That's kind of how I get down. I'm comfortable with that. It's easy for me to expand and grow my business. But let's say you don't want to deal with uh, hundreds of properties every single year, buying and selling and financing them and all that. You want to back up the truck on one particular deal. Well, first things first, you want to figure out the market. Now, these higher end markets, the land is going to be a little bit more difficult to sell because you have a smaller buyer pool. What the heck? Let me get rid of that. But with a smaller buyer pool, it doesn't mean there are not buyers out there for these properties. So look at some of these deals we got going on here. Here's one that sold for 1.31 million. And that's what you want to do. You want to check in the area, what are properties listing for and what are they selling for? Because you have to gauge a value piece on these. Now, you're not going to be able to walk in and do some $200 down, $200 a month seller finance deal on these multi-million dollar lots but here's one for a million dollars. You wanna see if these are actually selling for a million dollars or what they're actually going for. Just get familiar with the area on these multi-million dollar properties and search all the sites as well. So first we're on Zillow. Let's hop over to realtor.com. And remember, most of these properties are gonna be listed at retail pricing, but get an idea of the area what they're being listed for, and also search the comps on what has actually sold. What has someone actually struck a check for on these? So once you know what they're being listed for, what they're being sold for, now you want to get in the game to tie some of these up. And I would use options. That's it. On million dollar properties, I would try and option them. And we are going to look for owners of property that are way behind on their taxes and they have no interest in the property per se, and they need to get it sold. So let's take, for example, um, let me grab a residential one here just to keep it all good. So let's say this was a, a residential lot here. It looks like we got commercial building on the sides, but we're going to call this a residential lot for just over a million bucks it's being listed for. And let's say it's worth a million and someone would pay that. You need to get this thing for 700 grand or less to go ahead and just wholesale it really quick for 800 grand, 850 and make a really nice payday. So how would you go about doing this? First, we're going to go ahead and confirm that this is actually worth a million bucks. Next, we're going to research who owns land in the area that we could send direct mail to. And you're going to spend probably a couple thousand dollars sending out letters to offer to purchase their property. When a motivated seller gets on the phone with you, figure out their pain points and explain to them that, hey, I might not be the buyer for this, but I would have a buyer for you and see if you could tie it up on a 30 day option. And if they're a little bit squirrely about that, they don't want to tie up their property, make it non-exclusive. Meaning if you bring in a buyer for, let's say you negotiate the price to 700,000 and it's worth a million bucks and you tie it up for 30 days with them, you bring in a buyer for 800 grand, they get their 700,000, you get your hundred thousand dollars minus fees and everybody wins. But let's say two weeks after you pick up the property, their cousin wants to buy them out for a million bucks. It being a non-exclusive contract, they could go ahead and sell to their cousin. Now, you don't want to always do that, but if it's a great deal and you're confident in your marketing skills to get it done, then go for it. You know, Go ahead and tie it up and see if you can get it flipped before anybody else does. And more than anything, try to get an exclusive contract. But if you know it's a good deal and you're going to make money, do a non-exclusive and then hustle your heart out to make sure you get it sold. Be sure to check all the sites, know the area, know the value. And look at this, $20 million for 1.41 acres in Los Angeles. There are some crazy price properties, but there are buyers out there for these properties. So if you want to do the high end market, that's absolutely awesome. Just know your numbers and go ahead and this one comes with a crib too. 20 million bucks, 18 million bucks. But yeah, know your numbers. Go ahead and buy the data of the people that are behind on their taxes. Send them letters, jump on the phone, have a professional conversation with them and let them know that you probably are not going to be the buyer of the property, but you are going to market this property like crazy to your buyers and get the deal done and go ahead and tie it up under an option agreement. And we'll go ahead and cover options as well. I'll do a screen capture of that and then get it sold and get a fat, fat payday. That is an entirely different strategy to where you have to do, you know, one to five deals a year to have a really killer income 
versus hundreds upon hundreds of smaller deals. Now, like I said, me personally, I love the small deals. I love the volume. I love the movement. That's why I focus on that. Keeps me happy. And I love seeing my inbox explode with sales. These bigger deals, I would go crazy sitting around for you know two, three months trying to get these unloaded. But when you do sell them, you really do back up the truck. So everybody's different. They all have different personalities. If you're interested in the land game, but you want to take a luxury approach to it, pick an area, study the numbers, make lowball offers when you send out mailers to tax delinquent property owners, tie them up in an option, then flip them to that good buyer that has the cash on hand to go ahead and cash you out and make your payday and move forward. So I'm going to cover different luxury marketplaces. So we can kind of study the numbers as well as always, we're going to keep cover the cheap properties too. But if you have any questions about investing in real estate in the land marketing is, you know, primarily go ahead and comment below. I will create a video answering the question for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.